Hilton Head Island High School principal Amanda Onan joining us now that we've got school underway and she's kind of into a rhythm. Uh, Amanda, another year where you guys are going to have a chance to be recognized as Palmetto's finest? Absolutely. We, um, of course, won Palmetto's finest five years ago and the first time you're up for eligibility again is five years later. Okay. So here we are again. There you go. What goes into that? Well, essentially what they do is they pick the number one high school, middle school, and elementary school across the state, and they look at everything, whether it's your extracurriculars, your activities, your facilities, your faculty, your staff, your certifications, your student success, the data. There's nothing that they don't evaluate. <laughs> Looking back five years, do you think Hilton Head High is better now and even better qualified to be Palmetto's finest than when you won it five years ago? Of course, with my opinion being the principal, um, of course I think we're better and I think we're obviously the best, not just in the state, but on this part of the United States. So I think we do a lot of fabulous things. We've changed a lot in five years and um, our success continues to grow and we continue to close that achievement gap, which gets harder with time, obviously. So I think we're very deserving of it. Tell us about one of the new programs that you guys have started. You, you're talking about the Power Hour. Explain Correct, that. yep. So what I uh, have sort of cooked to my head is the fact that we do a phenomenal job out of uh, teaching content. You know, your math, your science, your English, your social studies. But one of the things I feel like we fail as a school system is to teach students how to be real contributing members of society. We don't teach them those life skills of everything from how to change a car tire and check your oil to how to balance a checkbook to what is the different type of insurance plans that you might need to look into to how do you choose exactly what career you want to go to or what if you don't go to college what are your options um, five years from now or 15 years from now and um, what are those life skills that we don't teach necessarily cover to cover in a textbook so we're going to put on a workshop using about a hundred community members to come in and share their expertise on all those life skills that we don't necessarily teach in your algebra one class or your algebra two class so we have community members coming in actually this Friday and every child gets to pick two what we call conferences or sessions to go to um, to hopefully take away um, in a power hour, an hour of time, something that will help them be prepared for the real world with life after high school. Is that something that evolves into something even bigger down the road where you, you I almost do make it uh, so more classroom time? Right, so what I envision is that we can't necessarily fit those things in the minutes of the day um, in Algebra 1 or in Algebra 2. So what we're hoping to stem off from this is that I develop senior seminars and we do a more creative approach to job fairs um, than the typical job fair that you and I might have had when we were in high school where everybody's in the gymnasium, but really make it a meaningful impact where kids build on these workshops so that when they leave us in four years, they not only have had an outstanding education, but they are truly better prepared for the real world um, as opposed to what we've been doing in the past. Uh, a lot of this program has involved, I'm sure, you contacting folks in the community. How can folks in the community, how can they help the high school? Awesome. So what our issue is, is obviously I have literally listed my hundred closest friends <laughs> and picked their brains for their areas of expertise and used my connections through people like the chamber and obviously our business partners. But if people would be willing to give up basically a half a day, um, I'm looking at once a quarter where we're going to put these workshops on and share some sort of area of expertise to prepare them for the real world. Just have them call me, text me, email me. Um, we are always looking for people in the community that can help come in and touch children's lives to make them better. Amanda, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.